Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your daily read. This will be for the 31st of August or whenever you come across it. Uh, we're going to go backwards today from Pisces to Aries. Delilah's with us as usual on her little pillow. She's our little spirit guide and mascot here on this channel. Okay, don't forget, red alert people, hoses and scammers out there trying to take you for your money. Nobody, nobody on my end will ever contact you for any circumstances. If you need me for anything, my information is in the box below. Uh, don't be a gavon. That is to say, sharing is caring. So I encourage you to take only what resonates with you. That's if something resonates. Don't make something resonate if it doesn't. And leave the rest for someone else. The energy is sick thick, okay? <laughs> yeah, because YouTube is worldwide. So you can just imagine how these collectives are. That's why I encourage you, if you can't find it in your heart, to hit the like button. Hit the dislike button with me, but get your energy out there. Fight for your spot, people. Um, time is linear. These readings are timeless. Well, even though they're dated, when you come across it is when you are meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. I may say he or she, depending on the card that comes out, but energy could be feminine or masculine, and anybody could be in either or at any time, so please apply the energy to your situation. I would also suggest knowing your planetary placement. There's a lot of free... Website that you can go put your information in and they'll spit out your whole chart. Uh, is there anything else? No, I guess that's it. Okay. Also, I do read reversals. Some people don't, but I do. I was taught to keep all my cards in the upright when I start. And if a reversal comes out, that's the way spirit wants it to give you a message. So, yeah, that's how we roll around here. Okay, so it's with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this, this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay, relay marbles in my mouth again today. Clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective. And we'll start with Pisces. Show me Pisces, please. <clears throat> Cards for Pisces. It's Pisces up to today. Don't forget, guys, time is linear, so you could, you know, this could be happening for you now. You could have just came out of it if you resonate with it, or it could be coming in in a hot second. So. What? Okay, good. Okay. Right now, you guys are in the Hierophant energy. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. This is, you know, traditionalism. This is family. This is... Uh, Anything legal, you could be going through a legal situation. Maybe some of you are getting married. Some of you are, you know, in church, school. You're taking a time out, weighing your options, and looking at things from a different point of view. Because you just came out of a very stressful situation, all right? Now, Queen of Swords. This is either you or somebody around you who's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or has that in their chart. And they are... Whoever this is, this person is a thinking person. This person does not act before they give it a lot of contemplation. They don't say anything without thinking of what they're saying first. They're efficient, smart, organized, logical, you know, and pretty powerful. You have some fast coming information coming in. Now, if it's not fast coming information, you could be moving quickly into a situation or out of a situation. But this is activity. You have the... <clears throat> Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is crossroads, discovery, ships coming in. The Magician. This is a Gemini card. This is manifesting your own future. This is, you know, it's in your environment too. So you're either manifesting something for yourself right now, whether that be a business, a relationship, a new place to live, something materialistic, or there could be somebody playing tricks on you. What else do we have, please? What do they need to see today? You got the seven of pentacles in reverse. All right, so you will not be investing effort into something, okay? Whatever that is for you. It could be a relationship that you decide not to invest effort in today or, you know, just anything at all. And you got the five of swords, so there could be some aggression around you today. All right, so there could be some legal issues, like I said. You know, your marriage, school, the Pope. You will be taking a time out to rest for a second and look at things in a different way because you've been stressed out about something. There's a Queen of Swords energy, either it's you or somebody else, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it could be in any of your planetary placements on either side, who's a very logical thinking person. They don't do anything without thinking about it first. You're going to have some fast coming information coming in, text, phone calls, whatever it is, or you're going to be moving fast out of a situation. It could be anything or into a new situation. This is going to put you at crossroads, 
waiting for your ships to come in, a time of self-discovery. Now you're going to start manifesting something today, okay? If you're not already doing it. This is a Gemini energy. This is, you know, having all the tools you need to make something what you want it to be. And uh, if it's not that, somebody's playing a trick on you. But you're not going to be investing any effort in it. So if somebody is playing a trick on you, guess what? You're going to ignore them. Because you're not going to be putting up with any aggression, okay? No aggression. You're done. So thank you so much. And if you're not putting up with any aggression, just be careful of any aggression around you. Okay, Pisces, until tomorrow. Thank you so much. Love and light. Next up, Aquarius. Hi, right, Aquarius. How are you guys? Show me what Aquarius needs to see, please, and thank you for the day. Well, you're overthinking something. You're in your head stressing yourself out. You're stressing yourself out over here. Why? Don't do that, Aquarius. I know you guys like to think, but don't drive yourself crazy doing it. Okay. Okay, so there could be another air sign around you, or this could be you. This is, you know, this Knight of Swords... This is somebody who moves really quick, okay? So, you know, they're thinking, usually they're thinking about themselves, but it's a fast-moving energy. So if it is somebody coming at you, it's not a long-term situation. You have the five of wands in reverse. This is trickery, contradiction, litigation. So this could be somebody coming at you that's trying to trick you today. Stay mindful of that. Show me. If it didn't happen today, it happened in the recent past. Hold on a second, I dropped the damn cards. Let me make sure they're all in the upright. Okay, here we go. All right. Whatever this trickery is, trickery, listen to me. Whatever this uh, aggression is right here, it's not going to be successful. Okay, it's not going to be successful. We are in the upright, aren't we? Yep. You're not going to be investing any effort into this bullshit. I'm telling you that right now. Because you're, you, you know, you're using your intuition. <laughs> Good for you, Aquarius. You're using your intuition. And you're not, in, you're not even engaging in this shit. God bless you. All right? This is now a Gemini energy. Okay, two of wands. This is going to inspire you, all right? It's going to inspire you to do something else. If it doesn't inspire you to do something else, you're inspired to use your intuition and not invest effort in, you know, in this nonsense here. It's not going to be successful anyway. Whatever it is, you'll see it. Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, instead you're going to go inside yourself and do what's best for you. Good for you. Good for you, Aquarius. most likely outcome for the day. Eh, that's too many. One, please. May I please have one, Ancestors? Wow. It's one day, Ancestors. It's only one day. Aquarius, come on. Give it to me. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. You're going to go inside yourself. You know, you got, you're not even going to, you're so smart right here with this hermit because the hermit is a very intelligent person. They went and took time out to discover themselves and, the, you know, the mysteries of life, right? So now you're going to move over to calmer waters. You're going to leave these people behind. Look at this. <laughs> Screw you. Whoever this is aggravating your balls today, they're out. So good for you, Aquarius. All right. So you're overthinking something. There could be this Knight of Swords. This is an aggressive energy, okay? The Knight of Swords is, you know, he's brave. He's straightforward. But it's, you know, it's an aggressive energy. And it's a fast-moving energy. And it could be bringing you, you know, some conflict, some struggle. It's in reverse, though, so it could be trickery and contradiction. Now you got this knight of, nine of cups in reverse, which is, you know, yeah, un being unsuccessful. Maybe the truth coming out about this. So you're not going to invest effort in it. You're using your intuition, the hermit and the high priestess. I mean, you're going inside and relying on what you're having. This is going to inspire you to move away. Good for you. All right, Aquarius, until tomorrow. Up next, Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. How are you guys? Hope everything's good. Here we go. Wow. This is a good reading. One more. Clearing ground. Clearing ground. Thank you. All right, Sag. Here we go. Show me what Sagittarius needs to see. Please and thank you. What's up with Sagittarius? Please and thank you. Whoa. I mean, uh, 
that's kind of a lot of cards, right, guys? Don't you think? I'm being guided to take them, though. Queen of Wands. All right, this is the Fire Queen. So this is somebody uh, who's... This is somebody who's stern, no nonsense, doesn't take no shit, you know, approachable and friendly, but cold, not affectionate, not a lot of warm, you know, empathetic energy. You might be required to detach from this. If this isn't you, ah, uh, let me see. Huh? All right. Look at here. This is you and your energy here today. You're in fire. You're in fire energy. Okay, so some of you must have fire in your chart. You're not taking no shit today. As a matter of fact, you'd rather detach from something than put up with shit. There could be an emperor around you. This is an Aries archetype. This is somebody who's powerful, you know, he rules the world, takes no shit, kind, but, you know, yeah, all four kings in one. And you're being, you, you're be, okay, this is crowning you. This is coming in. So, you know, there's some kind of success here today with this. Maybe because you're going to... Either get involved with an emperor or you're going to be an emperor energy. But this is all fire energy. You're going to be detaching. Maybe you're going to be detaching from an emperor. This is going to bring you the ace of wands. The ace of wands is success and passion. Oh, look at this, guys. King of pentacles. King of pentacles. Wow. All right. So the king of pentacles is the businessman, right? You guys got a couple extra cards, Sagittarius. I don't know, but we're taking them. I'm being guided. This is, you know... This could be somebody coming in for you. This is earth energy. This could be you in your own earth energy you know, just securing your bag, working hard, reliable, confident, stable, intelligent, financially stable. Six of Cups. You could be feeling a little nostalgic about something, though. There could be a breakthrough in a situation that maybe you were feeling nostalgic about that had something to do with your money. But you're going to be successful at it. You just got to stay, you know, strong, confident. You know, don't take no shit from anybody. You got these two cards here. So, you know, yeah, you place yourself. Anyway, there's going to be a lot of options. There's going to be a Knight of Cups coming in. This Knight of Cups is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's a reliable energy. So this is somebody else around you. There could be up to three people around you today, right? And because uh, you've got this king here, the emperor, the knight. And, you know, this is your energy, queen of wands here. So, this is, you know, whatever this knight's bringing in, there's a lot of options around you. This knight could be a friend. It could be, you know... A sister, a brother, anything. The Knight of Cups is like a big brother energy. It's friendly. It's warm. This is going to bring you know bring you to a place where you want to um, maybe relax. This is healing. Three of Cups is happiness, solace. You know, maybe going out, just relaxing. So that's a good reading, Sag. You're just gonna you know you're gonna have to, no nonsense energy. You're gonna have to detach from something, okay? Or maybe it's that you're gonna have to detach from this no nonsense energy, but. You got an emperor coming in that's going to bring you a lot of happiness here. See this? This is going to bring you success and passion and financial stability. Just don't be nostalgic. You're going to have, you know, I always say stamp out of it because there's going to be a breakthrough in a situation where it's going to open up a lot of doors for you today. You, you know, you got this Knight of Cups energy coming in. And, uh, yeah, it's going to help you heal. Good for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Don't forget, while I'm doing this, your fingers could be doing the walking. It's a snap. Okay, what's next? Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. How are you guys? I hope everybody's well. There we go. One. <clears throat> Two. Holy trifecta three. Okay, here we go. Clearing grounds, please. Thank you. Show me, Scorpio. Flying right out of the gate, Scorp. Okay, so you're persevering through a situation today, whatever that is. It could be emotional, financial, spiritual, material, materialistically. There's a Knight of Cups around you. This is Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or this could be you. You place it. But this is somebody coming in to offer a cup, or maybe you're offering a cup to somebody. Uh, it's a warm energy. It's a friendly energy. It doesn't have to be love, like romantic love. It could be, you know, emotional, like a friendship. You also have a Knight of Swords coming at you fast. This is uh, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a very fast-moving energy. This is somebody who's in for a good time, not for a long time. They think they think about themselves. Uh, the Knight of Swords is really not reliable. He's skillful and brave, though, but very straightforward. And he could also, you know, this could also represent wrath. So, be somebody, because look how angry he is. Maybe some, you know, be, <laughs> maybe you got two people fighting for each other. Look, you got this, you know, 
This guy's ready to cut the poor Knight of Cups head off, Scorpio. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, you have a lot of different ways you could go with this, so there's a lot of options around you today. Show me. Scorpio, please and thank you. Scorpio, please and thank you. Okay, Mink Yachts, yeah, you're covered by knights over here. What's going on with you, Scorp? Okay, so you got this Knight of Pentacles now coming in in the near future that you don't see, like, in a hot minute. This is the most reliable knight in my, you know, humble opinion. This knight's horse, his feet are all on the ground, or his hooves, he's, his shoulders are back, his head is up, his, you know, everything's sunny around him, his pentacles out, he can look you in the eye. This is somebody either coming in to offer you a job or a new way to make money, which is very solid, or if they're coming in to offer you their pentacle, you know, maybe take out a date, or it's just a friend. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. So, you know, it's solid, it's trustworthy. You're going to have to use your intuition on this. You got a Gemini card here. You're going to have to use your intuition. Uh, the chariot in reverse. This is, you know, this is, things could be happening, but they're not happening as fast as you would like them to. This is a cancer card, okay? It's not a complete fault, but, you know, things aren't moving as fast as you would like. Maybe with one of these knights. I don't know, Scorpio. You have to, you know, if you identify, you'll know. Don't forget, it doesn't have to be their first house. It could be, you know, their placements. So remember that. Now, five of cups. This is, you know, this is somebody who's so focused on these three cups that fell over here um, that it's really not, you know, looking at to see what else is there. And it, also, this could be somebody who knows they did wrong because they're hiding in their cape, okay? So this is loss and sad. This, this is regret. This is embarrassment, okay? But you do have a sun coming out at the end, which is the happiest card in the deck. Things will be illuminated for you today if there was something, you know. And uh, this is a Leo archetype. This is, you know, beautiful completion. So good for you, Scorpio. That's a pretty good reading. All right, so thank you. See you again tomorrow. Next up will be Libra. Clear and ground my energy, please. Libra, Libra, Libra. Hi, Libra. How are you guys? Show me Libra, please. Okay, let's see what we have here. Why is everything coming out in reverse? Oh, my own. Oh, my own, Libra. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's just read it. Okay, so you got this Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse here, right? This Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who's unreliable, could be stubborn, it's irresponsible, and it's a lazy energy. So maybe you are feeling that way. This is also somebody who's got financial problems. Okay, so maybe you have some financial problems. Maybe you're just not feeling like you want to, you know, work so hard. Okay, uh, Seven of Cups in reverse is, yeah... This is not having too many options open. This is, you know, this is not being able to make up your mind as to what you want. Maybe that's why you're feeling like you don't want to, uh, yeah, maybe you're feeling a little lazy. Now you got a Knight of Swords energy around you. That's also in reverse. So this could be you or somebody, you know, in your midst. This is um, somebody who's deceitful, you know, irrational. It could be somebody who's extravagant or incapable of doing something. This Knight of Cups in reverse is somebody who's untrustworthy, fraudulent, two-faced, you know, a gossip behind your back. This could be the same person that has air and uh, water in their chart. Or this could be you if, you know, you got to place it. Don't shoot the messenger. Six of Pentacles in reverse is having the desire for something, envying something, being jealous, or living in an illusion. You have this Page of Cups in reverse. This is, could be somebody who, you know, they're very clingy, uh... They will try to seduce you. They're deceptive. You know, they're not telling the truth about how they feel. So be careful. That's what I'm saying. Be careful today, Libra. There could be some sketchy-ass people around you. And you might not have a choice. You might have to deal with them, you know. Okay, what is going on? Wow. Okay, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in reverse is, you know, actually joy and happiness. So there is joy and happiness in your environment. Okay, and the devil in reverse is, you know, toxic behaviors, toxic people being removed from your life. 
This is a Capricorn energy. So if you were doing anything, in, you know, excess that was unhealthy for you, it could be anything, sex, drugs, rock and roll, overeating, oversleeping. You know, you, you're, you're getting on a better routine. You're getting on a better routine. Um, also, uh, if there was anybody toxic around you, you kicked their ass to the curb. I just want to make sure the cards are all in the upright. Okay, one last. For Libra, please. Can we have one more card for Libra? Yeah, so just be careful. There could be deceitful, lying, you know, the gazy-ass people around you today. And they're all night, so they're younger and immature. Okay, oh, that's too many, guys. We can of just read one. You know, and there could be also, you know, envious people. Could, it's could, it could be because of envy, jealousy, you know. People thinking things came easy to you or something. You know how people look at things and... However, you, you know, you, uh, this is good. This is financial security. So, you know, today you're going to be okay financially. All right. This is financial security. You know, you're either busy worried about securing the bag or your bag is secure, but you're going to come out of this financially stable. All right. That's why you got to kick these toxic people to you, you know, get rid of them. Capricorn energy. That's really all you have on the board. Okay. Thank you. Libra next up is Virgo. Hey, Dilly, how you doing? What? How you doing, Dilly? How you doing? You say, how you doing? Shout out from Brooklyn. Here we go. Virgo. Show me Virgo. Hi, Virgo. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Wow. One. Two. Clearing ground. Virgo. Show me what Virgo needs to see. Oh, my goodness. Virgo, what a great way to start. So this is the ultimate happiness. So somebody's walking on cloud nine today. Completely happy with their lives. Congratulations. Nice to see. Great start. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Break, you know, somebody had a breakthrough. The truth came out in this situation. This puts you in a very good place, okay? These are the facts. Maybe you were overthinking something. You know, you were in your head driving yourself crazy, okay? This is self-imposed torture over here. There could have been somebody around you or there could be somebody around you today who's in the Knight of Swords energy or this could be you. This is a very fast-moving energy. This is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is also a thinking card. This, you know, this night... He's thinking usually about himself. So maybe you were in your head overthinking about yourself. Excuse me, Delilah. But whatever it is, even if it's somebody coming at you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or anywhere in their chart, it's it's a fast-moving energy. It's not somebody who's solid, stable, and going to be in for a long time. You know, it's somebody who's courageous, and it could be somebody who's angry. Somebody could be angry at you. Um, you got this Five of Cups energy. So if somebody is angry at you, you know, you're going to feel the loss, the sadness. You're going to be melancholy over it. Or if you're angry at somebody, you know, but you have, you know, this could also be shame. People knowing that they did something wrong. That's why that guy hides his face in that ugly cape. Show me. Okay. So now this, you know, you're going you're gonna to be weighing your options. You're going to be balancing something out today. Okay. It could be your money. It could be a situation where somebody, you know, was a little aggressive towards you. Uh... Six of Wands in reverse, huh? Well, you know, this is apprehension, fear, treachery. This is disloyalty. So it could have something to do with this Knight of Swords energy. That's making you feel lost and sadness and having to balance yourself out. This breakthrough in the truth is making you overthink. Maybe it had something to do with your ultimate happiness. Maybe you found out something. Let's see. Two more, please. Two more. Two more for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, that's three more. We're going to take them. Okay, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So this is, you know, somebody who's learning how to become financially stable. This is an Earth Energy, like I said. Uh, you know, this could be somebody coming in to offer you a job or a new way to make money. It's solid and it's reliable. This is going to be coming in fast. It's coming in fast for you, okay? But, uh, you know, this could also be you moving quickly into a new situation or quickly out of an old one. So you could be changing jobs. You know, um, and this Page of Pentacles, yeah, somebody's definitely coming in to offer you a job, all right? Because Page of Pentacles is incoming information. They're like the messengers of the bunch, you know. So somebody's coming in with a 
idea for you guys to make money, whether it's a side hustle, whether it's a new business, whether, you know, this could be you thinking of it yourself. But this is about money. It's going to bring you to your ultimate happiness. So good for you, Virgo. Ooh, don't forget, guys, your fingers could be doing the walking. Okay, next up is Leo. Clear and ground my energy, please. Hi, Leo. How are you guys? Here we go. Show me what Leo needs to see. Me coming right out of the uh, right out of the box. All right, well, you got it. It's like we're going to turn it upside down for you. We're going to turn it right side up. Let's make it a positive read. I'm hearing <laughs> there could be an offer of motion on the table that's a reciprocated offer of emotion. So maybe you guys, you know, just, it could be a friendship. It could be a relationship. It could be, uh, you know, a work thing. But these are cups, so that's emotions. You got this star coming in reverse. This is an Aquarius energy. Um, you might not be too, well, even though it's reciprocated, you're not going to find everything you're looking for. All right. And there's going to be things that you don't know. Not everything is going to be illuminated about this. So, yeah, you made it, yeah. Show me. Whatever this offer of emotion is. Uh, there will be a breakthrough, though. There's going to be a breakthrough. So whatever it is, you know, this is fairness and balance. So this is a Libra energy. So, you know, even though you might not know everything about this offer of emotion coming in, whether it's a friendship, a relationship, a workmanship, whatever, uh, it will be a fair and balanced offer, Okay. And um, you might have to leave somebody out in the cold or something out in the cold. Maybe, you know. Yep. Or, you know, yeah. Let me see. Oh, there's a towel coming in. Scorpio energy. This is a surprise. A kick in the ass. Something you don't see coming. Um, you know. Maybe some of you are going through some hardship right now. Or a financial loss. But there will be a breakthrough in that situation. But there's going to be, you know, a tower coming. So, you know, not all towers are bad, but, you know, some of these, one of these, at least one of these people jumped out voluntarily, right? So you could be in a situation right now, you know, that you're going to have to end for this new, uh, excuse me, Delilah. Yeah. But there is going to be a surprise and a shock. Gonna, you know, it doesn't have to be the biggest surprise and shock. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, you just be like, hot damn, really? <laughs> okay. King of Pentacles. Oh, so yeah. So you're going to get some kind of a, a family balance in a situation maybe where you, you know, you were feeling financially uh, lack and financially somewhere. And uh, now this tower's coming in. It's going to put you in a King of Pentacles. Uh, you're going to have to work hard at something. This is stable, emotionally balanced, Virgo Capricorn Taurus. But uh, this is, you know, the king is financially stable. Okay. He's also hardworking. You got this three of cups in reverse, which is, you know, this could be happening very fast. This is an achievement. This is an end to a situation, which goes along with this, uh, this tower here. And uh, the death in reverse, Scorpio energy, you know, it is the ending and a transformation of a situation, but not so drastically. And if it is, it could also be very bittersweet. And then you got this five of swords in reverse, which is, you know, this is making a mistake, this is confusion, loss, a distraction. So you could be distracted by something today. Whatever this, uh, whatever this ending might be here. It could be an ending of being out in the cold. Because you see how those cards came in? Because there's going to be fairness and balance in a situation. So, you know, watch out for this uh, surprise, though. You're going to have a little surprise today. It doesn't have to be anything grand. It could be. I'm just saying, you know. But it could have something to do with your finances. So, good for you. Okay, thank you, Leo. Next up is Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Hi, Delilah. Hi, Delilah. Dilly, dilly. Clear and ground, please. Clear and ground. Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? Tell me what Cancer needs to see, please, and thank you, Cancer. All right, Cancer. Right now, you're in a Page of Swords energy. So this is somebody... Who, okay, first of all, somebody could be watching you today, all right? It could be anybody. It could be nosy neighbors, nosy boss, parents, you know, teachers, whatever. But even people online watching your crap. There could be some dishonesty around you today as well, so be careful with that. Somebody could be lying to you or trying to steal from you. So stay mindful. 
It could be somebody around you, or this could be you. It's Queen of Cups. It's Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But, you know, loving, supportive, nurturing, warm. That's a very warm energy. It's like the mom of the bunch, right? Show me Cancer, please, and thank you. Show me Cancer, please, and thank you. Okay. Now we got a King Cups in reverse. Wow, that's her counterpart. But this is somebody who's not, this is somebody who's dishonest because it's in reverse, all right? Masculine energy. But it could be male or female, so, you know, two-faced, unfair, backstabbing, gossip. You know, this is somebody, yeah, it's a nasty-ass energy. Okay, now, the cards are upright, so um, this nasty-ass energy is going to aggravate you, okay? You're not going to be happy about this. This is unhappiness. This is, you know, yeah. And um, the Hierophant in reverse could be any kind of uh, situation. It could be like a divorce, though. It could be like an argument. You know, maybe you go to court. You got to fight for something. Uh, you're not, you know, you're not doing things by the book. You're doing things in your own way. Now you've got this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this is somebody who's unreliable, irresponsible, lazy. They don't work very hard. Uh, yeah. Could be corrupt, you know. And very financially unstable. Show me, what else? The Cancer. Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Oh, too many guys, sorry. Two more, please. Cancer, two more for Cancer, please. Please and thank you. Okay, so now you got the Four of Cups in reverse. This could be that there's, you know, a new relationship coming in. Uh, it could, you know, it just could be a novelty, though. It's not going to be, like, anything serious. Um, it could be a friendship, you know, something like that. Um, and also the Four of Cups in reverse, it could, you know, it could be an omen of something around you today. You might, you know, I don't know if you follow synchronizing numbers or you believe in that, but there you go. Um... If you do get some kind of an omen or something like this, you're gonna you're gonna have to. Um, this is Virgo energy. This is going inside and following your own intuition. This is seeking your own wisdom. This is knowing yourself well enough to know what's right for you. So you have to do what's best for you in a situation. Okay. So you, don't forget that you got this Page of Swords energy. Like I said, this is somebody who's eager. Somebody could be watching you. So and they could be watching you to steal from you, or lie to you, or manipulate you. Uh, you do have a Queen of Cups energy around you. This could be you or somebody else. Warm, loving, you know, caring, nurturing, understanding. But you also have this King of Cups in reverse. This is this is a dishonest, two-faced, unfair, backstabbing, cheating liar. All right? And this is, whatever this energy is, it's making you very unhappy. Now, this could be a divorce that somebody's going through, okay? Because, you know, the Hierophant's in reverse. Or it could be some kind of a legal battle, you know? And you got this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who's untrustworthy, fraudulent, you know. This is somebody who's lazy. They don't want to work. You know, they have financial problems. And the Four of Cups in reverse, like I said, is, you know, this could be a new relationship coming in. It's not going to be very serious. It could be an omen. But you're going to have to figure out what's best for you with this Virgo card. So, and then you got a Leo here. The Hierophant is uh, Taurus. So, there could be those energies around you. Thank you, Cancer. Next up is Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Hi, right, Gemini. How are you guys? Hope everything's well. Here we go. Clear and ground my energy, please. Okay. These cards are coming out already for you guys. Spitting out. Did you see that fly out? One more shuffle. Wow. What's going on with your cards, Gemini? Messages want to fly out for you. Here we go. Show me Gemini, please, and thank you. Sometimes the cards don't want to come out of my hand. Sometimes I can't keep them in. Watch them fly out now. Show me Gemini. Well, of course I said that. They won't come out at all. It's always the way, right? Spirit and Ancestors, can I have cards for Gemini, please? And thank you for playing with me today. Six of Cups. So some of you are in a nostalgic mood, okay? Snap out of it. You're in your head. That's, you know, thinking of memories of the past. Show me, Gemini. Oh, somebody's going to get a surprise and a shock today. Now, it doesn't have to be anything great, you know, but just like some kind of a surprise and a shock, some kind of a little kick in the ass with spirit. 
Let's see what else. Oh, all right. Let's see. Whatever the surprise or shock is, you're going to have to temper your emotions about it, okay? You're going to have to not fly off the handle. Control yourself. Don't say things you don't mean. Bite your tongue. If you don't even say anything. This is a Sagittarius energy. This is a Scorpio energy. Now you got this tool. Whatever this is, though, whatever it is, don't react to it. It's going to actually inspire you. So this could be a good tower. You, feel, you know, whatever this tower is, it's going to be a good tower. You might have to, in other words, so let's say you say you hit the lottery. I'll give you that analogy, right? Don't get crazy. Or go, ah, you know, just keep yourself steady. Steady as she goes, I hear. Uh, you will be inspired by this. And, oh, this is going to, this might make you very powerful, very rich. Okay, you got the Zephyr energy coming in, Gemini. This is, uh, this is Aries. So, you know, this might put you, oh, look at this. You're going to have a tower coming in. I bet you it's a good tower. It's going to be a good tower. Maybe you're feeling all mocus right now. You're going to have a surprise and a shock that you're going to have to temper your emotions and not overreact. This is going to inspire you. It's going to put you in a place of abundance and power because there's going to be a breakthrough in a situation for you, Gemini, that's going to bring you to your ultimate happiness. You just can't be fearful, okay? It might scare you, whatever it is. Maybe you never dealt with something like this before. Yeah. But don't be fearful and have anxiety over it, you know? Don't do that. What a good reading, Gemini. Okay, got two cards are coming out at the end. This might cause you to have to move over to calmer waters somewhere. This might be an ending of one situation, you know, and transitioning into another situation. This is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is, you know, sorrow, transition, but it's moving quickly. It's expeditiously. And so this Ace of Swords, what is this? What do I tell you all the time? These are the facts. This is the truth. This is a breakthrough. This is like an excellent reading. So you could be sitting here all mocus marcus being nostalgic. Like I always tell you, snap out of it. But you got the Scorpio energy coming in. Divine coming in to give you a kick in the ass. There's going to be a surprise and a shock that you don't see coming. You're going to have to temper your emotions. Don't let, don't react. Just don't react. Whatever this is, it's going to inspire you. And it's going to bring you into this abundant, very powerful energy. Okay? And this, because there's going to be a breakthrough in the situation. Judgment's being called. Yep. God bless you, Gemini. And this, whatever this is, it's gonna bring you, but it's gonna bring you complete happiness. But you might be a little afraid. In other words, let's say you just got famous. You might be afraid of fame. Just you know, fear and anxiety. Knock it out. Get here, see what this is right here. Look, fear and anxiety, and this is like you know, trans, this is moving over to calmer waters, right? So if the Six of Swords is sorrow transition, but exp expeditiously, you expeditiously get rid of this fear and anxiety. Yeah, kick it right to the curb. The minute you feel, let it go. Transmute that shit. Because you got to break through the truth and, uh, yeah, the facts, the facts. Good for you, Gemini. That's great. What a great reading. Okay. Next up is Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Hi, Taurus. How are you guys? Hope everything's great. One. Two. And... Three. Show me what Taurus needs to see, please, and thank you. Show me what Taurus needs to see. Okay, somebody is Marcus, Marcus, Marcus over here, all nostalgic in this Five of Cups energy, whoever I'm talking to. You're feeling melancholy, focusing on, you know, whatever you lost and just being sad. Bring up that vibration, yeah? Let's see. You could also be feeling, you know, guilty about something. You got this Queen of Swords in reverse. So this is somebody who's malicious. You know, she's evil. She's got cruel intentions. She could be, you know, a bigot and very deceitful, a backstabber, something like that. All right, just doing the most. Okay, show me, Taurus. That's a water energy. That's Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, guys. Show me, Taurus, please and thank you. Okay, so uh, you're going to be learning how to do something new. Or you're going to be teaching somebody how to do something new. Even if it's you're teaching somebody how to treat you in a different way. But there's some kind of apprenticeship on the table here. All right. What I have to say about that is uh, everybody has to start somewhere, right? That's what my spirit guys always say. You could, you know, you could be learning something new. Likewise, somebody could be learning how not to be deceitful. Or maybe because they you know, they were deceitful in the past. Okay, show me. 
We got this Page of Wands energy around you. So this is somebody younger. You could be getting some information or some news today. Uh, this is fire energy. Uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. This is like a weekend warrior. This could be, you know, a rival. This could be somebody who's got a really big ego. You know, an instantaneous self-gratification. It's, it, it's a, you know, it's a page. Could be somebody younger or immature as well. The page is two of wands. You're going to be inspired about something. Maybe it's this new thing you're learning. Oh, okay. So now you got this Queen of Cups energy around you. This is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It could be anybody's planetary placement. This is a very warm, loving energy. So this could be somebody who's very uh, empathetic towards you. Um, this could be a friend. You know, just this could be a mom. Um, but it's a warm, loving energy. It's it's affectionate. It's trustworthy. Okay, supportive, devoted, and you do have stability around you today. This is an Aries card. Okay, so maybe this warm, loving energy is making you feel you know in a stable place. If that's not you. Excellent. Okay. Oh, very nice. You do have ultimate happiness on the table today, okay? So maybe, this, you know, stability and ultimate happiness. So this stability will bring you to a place of ultimate happiness. Just don't be nostalgic. You know, don't, don't be in your head about this, you know, whatever was in the past. Let it go. We drive looking at the wheel, the windshield for a reason. We don't drive looking at the, you know, the rearview mirror. So keep that in mind, all right? This is a good reading, though. Ultimate happiness today. Stability. Love. Inspiration. Okay. Learning how to do something new. That's always good, right? Always good to learn. Last but not least are Aries. Hi, Aries. How are you guys? Here we go. Give it to me for Aries, please, and thank you. What has Aries got to see? Well, Aries, here we go. Okay, so right now, whoever I'm talking to is burdened down with some kind of situation in their life. Maybe more than one. Somebody's coming in to offer emotions. It could be a friendship. It could just it could be a love thing. It's going to be reciprocated. Uh, and it's going to make you feel very abundant. This relationship is going to be abundant. Whatever this is. Whether it's a friendship, a work situation, or, you know, cups is emotions. So that's, like, usually love. This is the Empress. She's beautiful, abundant, you know... Powerful. Somebody could also be coming in with this Knight of Pentacles energy, that's Earth, to offer you a job or a new way to make money. Or even if they're just coming in to offer you one of their pentacles, it's stable, it's reliable, it's trustworthy. You know, this is somebody who's solid, okay? They think about what they're doing. Um, there's going to be a breakthrough in a situation today. So some kind of situation you're going to get a breakthrough, Aries. Now, there could be a King of Cups around you. This King of Cups is warm, loving energy. This is like the daddy. Who's your daddy? He's your daddy. This is a fair, balanced, warm, open-minded, affectionate energy. Okay, very supportive. This could also be somebody who's a little clingy and needs, some, you know, some attention, a lot of attention. But Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This could also be somebody that's powerful. This could also be somebody who's bringing in uh, some kind of a breakthrough in a situation. And it's coming in under the, you know, the Two of Cups. So this could be somebody that you're going to have a reciprocated offer of emotion with. Show me. A couple more for Aries, please and thank you. Okay. It could be things that you don't know. This is a Cancer archetype now. All right. So Taurus, Cancer. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. There could be things that you don't know. There could be, you know, secrets being kept. Lies being told. Maybe you're keeping things, you know. This doesn't necessarily mean lying, but th this is things that are in the shadow that you don't see yet. So, you know, the shadow of the moon. So when the sun comes out, then you see it. So just, you know, ask questions if you have to. Make sure you feel safe and, you know, you can trust whatever it is. Okay. Just whatever you do with the Six of Cups, get out of your head. Don't be nostalgic. You know, don't be thinking of the past memories. And whatever you do, don't be comparing whoever this is, you know, with anything from the past. Everybody's different, right? Oh, yeah, because you don't, you know, this, you don't want any more emotional pain, okay? This, you know, you may have been through some emotional pain. This is third-party third situations. What did I just tell you? Okay, here. Whatever, you know, whatever emotional pain you're coming out of, now, it could be any kind of emotional pain, but this usually denotes a third-party situation where somebody cheated on you and it was just a horrible thing, right? You got very emotionally hurt. It might have knocked you on your ass for a while. And, you know, instead of, and you still maybe sit there and think about it or you, you look back, you know, but your spirit is advising you not to do that, okay? Because there were still a lot of things that you may not have known about that situation. And now you got this King of Cups energy coming in. This is going to be, you know, this is the, 
This is the angel blowing his trumpet. This is, you know, a breakthrough for you. Okay, you can be learning how to make new money. It's going to bring you abundance. It's going to be reciprocated. So don't be comparing, you know, whatever was in the past that's making you feel nostalgic with whoever's in front of you because everybody's different, right? And, you know, you could love everybody in a different way. So remember that. All right, thank you so much. Remember, guys, let your fingers do the walking. I encourage you to hit the dislike. If you can't hit the like, but fight for your spot in the energy. Uh, 5D, yeah? Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until tomorrow, people, thank you for enjoying me, uh, for joining me. And, you know, hit the subscribe button on the way out. I'd love to have you. Bye-bye.